Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number 10 from the October 2022 Pure Mathematics P2 International A Level paper. Uh, this question is about logarithms. Question 10, part 1a says, first of all, given a equals log to the base 2 of 3, write in simplest form in terms of a log to the base 2 of 9. Okay, so the first part of this question here, we have to take log to the base 2 of 9 and rewrite it so that we'll have something um, in terms of log to the base 2 of 3 because we have to replace log to the base 2 of 3 with a. So we know um, that log 9 is made up of, um, you know, you could you could write nine as three times three or three squared, okay. So you can say log to the base two of nine is log to the base two of three squared, and then we can use the power law in logarithms to write this as two times log to the base two of three, okay. So we know there's a power law in logarithms that you can, if you have log to the base a of b to the power of k, you can write that as k times log to the base a of b. Okay, and you know that's the, the, the that's the uh, power law, which is you know based upon, for example, if I say log to the base a of three to the power of four, I can rewrite that as log to the base a of three times three times three times three, and then we have the addition law, okay, where this can be split up into log to the base a of three plus another log to the base a of three plus again log to the base a of 3, plus again log to the base a of 3. We have altogether how many? 4 log to the base a of 3s. So we can say that log to the base a of 3 to the power of 4 is the same as 4 times log to the base a of 3. That's like what it's based upon. All right, so this can be written as 2 times log to the base 3 of a. Now I know that log to the base 2 of, th uh, log, sorry, 2 times log to the base 2 of 3, we know that log to the base 2 of 3 is equal to a. So I can write this as 2 times a. Just replace this with a. And so we've now written in terms of a log to the base 2 of 3. And similarly, for the second part of the question here, we can do something very similar. We can take log to the base 2 of root 3 over 16 and rewrite this. Um, we can rewrite this using the laws of logarithms. And, you know, I've just mentioned the addition law here. When you have a product of things inside the logarithm, you can split them up with the sum. If you have a quotient, you can split them up with a difference. So I can write this as log to the base of root 3 minus log to the base 2 of 16. So this becomes that. And I know that th um, <coughs> so the square root of 3 can be written in index form as log here to the base 2 of this can be 3 to the power of a half. So you have log to the base 2 of 3 to the power of a half, root 3 is 3 to the power of a half, and minus, and I can actually work out the value of log to the base 2 of 16. It means, basically, this means 2 to the power of something gives me 16, which is 4. Or, if you want to, you can write this as log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of 4. That's the same as 16. And then this gives me a half times log to the base 2 of 3 minus 4 times log to the base 2 of 2. And we know that log to the base of something of itself is equal to 1. Okay, because we know that basically that the log of a to the base a of b equals c can be rewritten in index form. This is the base, this is the power, and this is the answer a to the power of c equals b. So 2 to the power of something gives me 1. Well, it gives me 2, sorry, that must be 1. 2 to the power of 1 gives me 1. So when you have log to the base of something of itself, it always will be 1. So this gives me a half times. Now I can replace log to the base 2 of 3 with a, because we know that that's what log to the base 2 of 3 is. It's equal to a in the question defined as that. So it's a half a minus and 4 times 1, which is 4. And there's the answer for part b. So that's a and b, pretty simple, done. And now we have to go on to part 2, which I've, I think I put on the next page. I think we need to keep this in mind. Okay, so now for the next part of the question, it says solve the equation 3 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x plus 4 equals 6, giving your answer in simplest form in terms of a. So again, we're going to have, the, we're going to, have to use this a here. And a is um, in terms of base 2. 
So that means I need to, when I try to solve this equation, I can solve it in lots of different ways. I can take log to the base 10, log to the base 3, log to the base 2, log to the base for any number I want. However, if I, as I want to express my answer in terms of a, and a is equal to log to the base 2 of 3, the sensible thing to do here would be to use a log to the base 2 when we're solving this problem because we want to free these x's, these unknowns, these variables from the power, which we do by using logarithms. So I'm going to take log to the base 2 of both sides of this log equation. So you got of this exponential equation. So you have log to the base 2 of 3 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x plus 4 equals log to the base 2 of 6. So I've taken log to the base 2 of both sides. I can use the addition law to split this up. So I have log to the base 2 of 3 to the power of x plus log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of x plus 4 equals log to the base 2 of 6. Now, 6, I can see 6 as 2 times 3. So I'm going to write this as 2 times 3 because I want to end up with log to the base 2 of 3 and, and I can think I can do it with this using um, the addition law. So I've split the 6 into 2 times 3, getting ready for that. Now I can use the power law for these to bring these x's as products in front of the logarithms. So x times log to the base 2 of 3 plus, and I have x plus 4 times log to the base 2 of 2, which is, and that's equal to log to the base 2 of 2 plus log to the base 2 of 3. So this becomes 1 because log to the base 2 of 2 is 1, right? So this is just x plus 4 now. Um, and, you know, we don't really have to, you know, if we take log to the base 2 of everything, I don't even have to write this step. I can put straight away from here to there if I wanted to, but just showing you the steps and why it happens. So now I know that log to the base 2 of 3 is equal to a, and I have kind of got these terms now ready to just replace with a. So this is going to be x times a plus x plus 4 equals, now log to the base 2 of 2 is 1 plus, and this becomes a. So I now have to make, find x, I have to solve this equation, means I have to find my answer as x equals in terms of a. So I have to make x the subject. So I have ax plus x, okay, um, and I'm going to have ax plus x, and then this, this will be a minus, so I have 1 plus a minus 4. I've kept the x terms on one side and everything else on the other side. So this I can now take out uh, x as common. So I have x times a plus 1 equals, and here I have a minus 3. <clears throat> and now I can divide both sides by a plus 1. So I have x equals a minus 3 over a plus 1. So there's the answer. That's x in terms of a. Okay, solving the equation means finding what x is in terms of a. And there is that question complete. So just using those laws of logarithms, okay, understanding that log to the base of something of itself is 1, understanding the addition law when you can split up a, um, a product into addition, um, understanding the power law, okay, and just making sure that you end up expressing things in terms of log to the base 2 of 3, which you can then replace with a. So that's how we solve such a question. Um, so that's question number 10 solved now from the um, P2, Pure Mathematics P2, October 2022 paper. Um, I hope that was um, clear for you all. And, you know, other questions from this particular paper will be found in the playlist, which will appear in the top of the screen over here. This is the playlist for this particular paper. Other questions from logarithms in P2 can be found in the playlist that will appear over here in this area. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Don't forget to look at the links in the description that will help you to find the index for all my different material. Thank you for watching and see you soon.